This is serious. This is really serious. I mean, it's, it's here. That is the town of Clayton's fire chief expressing the severe impact COVID-19 is having on his firefighters with multiple first responders testing positive for the virus with four in the hospital at one point. And with 17 Clayton firefighters out of commission right now, resources are stretched very thin. Mackenzie Stasco live in Clayton Forest. And Mackenzie, the community now rallying around them to show their support. Russ, they sure are. As those 17 firefighters here in Clayton focus on recovering from the virus, the community here is really focused on helping ease the financial burden. They've been raising money for their families, for lost wages, and for food. The Clayton Rocking Club putting on weighted vests and marching under the hot summer sun to the Clayton Fire Department. It really hit close to home, and I just felt like our community could come together and, and do something to show our support for them. Their three mile rock, one of countless efforts showing support for the 17 firefighters who tested positive for COVID 19, and the others now working longer shifts to keep the station staffed. So I know several of the guys, uh, their families. To help ease the financial burden, David Shearer opened the doors to the First Street Tavern on Sunday, pledging to donate. 10% of all sales to the Clayton Firefighters Association. We've had a box up for about a week now that's taking cash donations, gift cards, anything of that sort. And also on today, what we're doing is I'm going to match the donations we get today. I'm going to match those. Clayton is a special community. We have we have this really small town feel and people rally around one another. And I think this this particular cause just hits, you know, really close to home. Now, right now, there are currently two Clayton firefighters in the hospital. In addition to that, one of their spouses is in the hospital as well. Thankfully, though, the department tells me they have not had any new COVID cases among firefighters since August 17th. Live in Johnston County, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.